to welcome again. Um, yeah, my name's Philip and we'll go through a yin yang class today for the shoulders and the hips. Um, yeah, so basically let's um, just start with sitting. So if you have something to sit on, that's fine. If you don't, that's okay too. Just make sure that you're comfortable seated. If you're super uncomfortable seated too, you can even stand up and do this if you want, okay? So wherever you are, just start to drop into your breath, giving your eyes a close if you can. If you cannot, close your eyes. Just keep them about halfway open. And just start to watch your breath move in and out of your nose. Watching the ribs expand and contract. No need to change your breath. Just watching it. But notice if it's short or shallow or long and deep. If maybe you can even find like a middle. <laughs> Breathing in for about like three seconds to five. And watching yourself breathe out for three to five or however long you go. Just try not to strain as you breathe. Keep your ears right over your shoulders and your shoulders relaxed over your hips. Not too relaxed so that they fall completely. And just start to really let go of your day, let go of your night. And just start to really bring your awareness to your breath, your body and your mind. And trying to clear your mind of thought with your breath. Just by noticing the sensations of it in your body. Just watching about five more nice breaths. Really relaxing into the face. Opening up the ears. Sitting it nice and tall through the top of the head. Before you float your eyes open, I just want you to thank yourselves for showing up today on your mat. Maybe even thank yourselves for your day. When you're ready, just slowly, slowly float your eyes open, little by little. Just letting the sense of sight in. Good. Once your eyes are open, I just want you to lean back just so we can give the feet and legs and back a rest. Just give your feet a little shake. You can even lift your chest up a bit. Okay. So for today, we're gonna to start with just a little bit of um, joint mobility. In yoga, we call it Pawan Mukhasan. Basically, they say that there's energy trapped in the joints. So we're gonna work through them, okay? We'll start with the feet. So just spread your toes wide open and then sit back a bit tall. Spread the bones of your feet as wide as they can go. And then look at your feet and see if you can control the way that they're splaying and spreading. Then exhale, close your feet. And try not to go too hard or too soft. And then inhale, open your feet. And exhale, close. This is a very simple thing to do, but it can be very effective. 
Just inhale, open the feet. Do that a few more times. And exhale, close. If you really tight in the feet, you can get really tight in your back and your hips. And one more time, exhale, close. And inhale, open. Awesome. So we're gonna keep working with the feet, but with the ankles this time. So you're going to try and make nice circles with both of your feet and your ankles, like circumducting through your big toes. I'm just going through the ranges of motion of your ankles. Basically, they can go this way, plantar flex, or dorsiflex, they can plantar flex, they can evert or invert. So just go through all of those ranges, okay? And circle in the opposite direction. If you're hearing clicks and clacks, that's normal. Okay, next we're just gonna move on to hydrating the knees a little bit, okay? So you're just gonna squeeze your thighs and your kneecaps so they pull in. So if you watch closely, I'm just gonna squeeze the muscles of my thighs. You'll see my kneecaps pull in once you do the same. Then exhale, just relax your thighs. Let your kneecaps lift. Exhale, squeeze your thighs, squeeze your knees in. And exhale, release, let them go. One more time, exhale, squeeze the knees. Then exhale, let go. Okay, sit up nice and straight. Now cross your right ankle over your thigh or even your shin. Just not right, not right on top of them, it might feel uncomfortable. Here you're going to stick your fingers, your left fingers in between your toes. You've done this before. Here, you're just gonna give yourself a handshake. <laughs> I'm just joking, you can circle your uh, ankle like this. And it might take a few moments to get the fingers in the toes, in between the toes. If it's very difficult for you to do that, I suggest just doing like one finger at a time and then just gradually working on it. And circle in the opposite direction. Okay. And here, what you're gonna do is hold on to your shin, okay? And then dorsiflex your ankle. So you're pushing your heel away from you, spreading your knee, your toes towards your knee. You're gonna sit up tall, just move your knee back and forth, side to side. Make sure there's no pain in your knee, okay? And see if you can relax a bit into the shoulders. Good. Okay. Here, we're gonna bring the right foot to the inside of the left leg, like this like a seated tree, either below the knee or above your choice. You're gonna sit up, take a deep breath in, and just slowly fold for five nice breaths for today. Reach forwards for your foot or leg. If there's a lot of pain in your right knee, you can have both legs straight and just hold your left leg. Or you can even place a block underneath your right knee. Breathe for about three more nice ones. Breathe into your back. Sense like a feeling of breath going in there. And exhale, imagine down the front of your body. One more nice breath all the way in. And a deep breath all the way out. Slowly, slowly, come up to sit. Move slow so you don't get dizzy. Keep your eyes towards your legs just for a moment, ears over the shoulders. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Okay, you just simply switch sides, take the legs out, place your left ankle on your right leg. Stick your right fingers in between your toes. Make nice circles with that left ankle. And if you have a bad left knee, 
you can always pop that up with something. It should feel better. Okay, a circle in the opposite direction. Then hold on to your shin with both of your hands. Lower so flex your left ankle, relax your shoulders. Use the lower parts of your arms and your hands a bit more on your elbows. If you like a little bit, just move your knee from side to side. Okay, now let's press the left foot to the inside of the right leg. Take a deep breath in, sitting up tall. And slowly, slowly, getting small, holding forwards little by little. Hang here. Breathe for about five nice breaths today, nice and easy. Four. Breathe in for about three to five seconds. Breathe out for the same. Three. Release any unneeded tension you feel around your neck, your shoulders, your face. Two. And one. Very good. Slowly, slowly come up to sit. Take a deep breath in through the nose. If you like, deep breath out through the mouth. Ah, uh, okay, lean back, bend your knees, just give your legs a shake from side to side, like windshield wipers. Do that a few more times. And this can really help the hips to just loosen up. Okay. Come back up to sit in any comfortable position that you like cross legs or legs up on. We'll work on the spine now, okay? okay? So just like cat cow, you're going to exhale really round your whole back, revoked. And as you inhale, you'll come forwards, breathing. Okay? Do that a few more times, four more. Exhale, round your whole back. So you can maybe see your spine through your shirt. As you inhale, come forwards. So your sternum forwards. The breastbone looks like a sword. Exhale, you round. Last one, come forwards, inhale. And then round, exhale. Okay, come back to center, breathe in. And breathe out. Same but different. Still working with the spine, start to make nice circles with your shoulders and your spine. And keep your ears, shoulders, and hips in a nice line. And then circle in the opposite direction. Remember, as you come forward, like reach the middle of the chest forwards. As you go back, you round. Okay, come back to center, take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Next, palms face up. Like this. Inhale, open up your hands, spread them out. Reach out long through your pinky fingers, index fingers, your thumbs. Next, I'll just close your hands. Three more times, inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. One more, inhale, open. And exhale, close. Now open them. Touch your fingers to your shoulders, okay? Oops. And you're going to reach your fingers forwards again, your arms forwards. Breathe in. Nice and easy. Breathe in. Touch your fingers to your shoulders. Breathe in. And then reach them forwards. Breathe out. One more. Breathe in. 
and breathe out. Tuck your fingers to your shoulders and stay, okay? Now, your shoulders, hips in a line. Make it nice circles with your elbows. Start small, and then you can go a little bit more. Breathe. Okay. Give your shoulders a rest, arms a shake. And then I'll switch sides. Touch your fingers to your shoulders, almost there. This time bring your elbows back and around. Three more. I don't know why, but this one makes me so tired. <laughs> oh, my shoulder's tired. Okay, now just relax. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Okay. One more thing. The head and the neck. Just sit up nice and straight. Keep looking down the bridge of your nose, a few feet in front of your belly button. You're just gonna tilt your right ear towards your right shoulder. Your shoulders and hips are forwards, okay? Looking for that point right in front of your belly button. Getting a nice stretch through the left side of the neck. You wanna try and feel a little bit more. If you don't feel anything, you can place your left hand down beside you. Just gonna reach it down. Don't feel too much or too little, okay? I'm gonna try to take your right hand to the left side of your head and breathe for about five. You can close your eyes if you'd like. Or three. Two and one. Good. Come back to center slowly. Breathe in and breathe out. Other side. And look in front of you. Drop your left ear to your left shoulder. You can bring your right hand beside you. Just stretching like the sides of the neck, the muscles of the neck. And these scaly muscles around the neck, they help to um, lift the rib basket up as you breathe. So you can breathe a little bit easier. If you did before, left hand on the right side of the head for a few more breaths. Relax into your jaw. Open up your ears. Let the sound in. Good. Slowly, slowly place your head back on correctly. Breathe in. And breathe out. Okay. Two more. Here, look down the bridge of your nose without crossing your eyes and just look past your left shoulder. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Do the other side. Try and keep your shoulders square. Look past your right shoulder. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Come back to center. And here you're going to tuck your chin towards your collarbone and place your hands behind your head like this. You're just going to press your head and hands into each other for about five. Feeling a nice stretch through the neck. Four. Three. Two. And one. Slowly release. Bring your ears, your shoulders over your hips. Take a deep breath in. 
deep breath out. Good. When you're ready, just lean back, legs out. And lift your chest. If you want to drop your head back a bit, give your legs a little shake. And so you're working the joints of the body and, and the hips and so you're sitting a bit. Okay. We're gonna come into a yin posture called Supta Baddha Konasa, nice and relaxing one, okay? Lie down on your back. Yay. <laughs> With your legs in a diamond shape like this. Okay. And if this is really difficult for you, if you have some blocks or pillows at home, you can put place them underneath your legs, wherever you have will work. Just make sure they're around the same height. And you can place your hands on your stomach, or you can even take your arms up to the side like this. Into like a field goal shape. We're going to hang out here for about three minutes, okay? So let the outsides of your feet touch the ground. And let the outer edges of the feet even like touch each other. Same with the insides. But if you want to feel a little bit more of a stretch in the groin, you can let the inner edges of your feet open. Just gonna set a timer so we don't go for too long. Just feeling a nice release in the hips. Let's we'll see here if you can surrender to gravity. Surrender to your breath. Just relax here as best as you can. I shouldn't say relax because you might fall asleep. But um, try to let there be as little tension in your body as there can be. You can feel it around the hips a lot. Imagine breathing into those areas, into the hips. Your shoulders are tight. You can imagine breathing into those. If your arms are out beside you and your arms go numb and tingly in your hands, please bring them down by your sides right away, okay? Yeah, the outer edges of the feet should ground down just as much as your um, sacrum your shoulder blades and the middle back of your head. If you can distribute your weight equally there, okay? And let's just hang out here for a little bit longer. Just over a minute to go. Watching the belly rise and fall. But don't push your belly out too far. Or don't suck it in too much. Just let it be. And if you start to feel a little bit more open, you can always let your legs Drop a little bit more to the sides. If it's too much, you can bring your legs closer together or even rest and join back in when you're ready. Okay, let's take one more breath and that's time. At the end of your exhale, 
Place your hands behind your thighs. With the help of your hands, close your legs together. Or you can even just have your legs mat with the part, hips apart, whatever you need. Take a deep breath in. And just noticing the hips. Deep breath out. And you're ready, just shake your legs from side to side like windshield wipers, like we did before. Okay, drop your legs over to the right and roll to the right. Once you're on your right, lie down on your stomach, okay? And rest your forehead on your hands. Oops. And we'll prepare for sphinx pose. So you can stay on your stomach like this. It can be quite relaxing and really nice to find length in the front of your body. Be a nice or like massage for the digestive organs. And stay like this. If you have a sore back, legs are open wide, about mat width or even more. If your like if your back is okay, legs close together. On your next inhale, press up onto your forearms or on your elbows. Press your hands down. You keep your ears, shoulders, and hips in line. You can close your eyes if you'd like. And try not to let there be too much of a pinching in your back, wherever you're like bending from. Make space instead of um, instead of uh, yeah, too much pinching. Okay. We'll hang out here for about three minutes. You feel a nice stretch throughout the front of your body. And usually it's the front of the body that is restricting the back of the body to open. Two more minutes. If you feel nothing, you can try bending your knees. That's it. If you have a sore back, squeeze your glutes, your abdominals, and back a bit. And breathe through it. Imagine the feeling of your breath just moving up the front of your body from your lower belly to your throat, up to your nose. And the breath. Feeling as if it's going down the back of your body from like your back of your neck down towards your low back. One more minute. If you still feel nothing, you can always press your hands down and lift your elbows up. If it's too much, you can always come down. And keep the, yeah, keep the hips on the ground, that's it. Breathe in for about three to five. Breathe out for the same. And remember to breathe with a little bit of sound. Almost there. You can have their full breath all the way in. Deep breath all the way out. And then slowly lower your legs, your forearms, place your hands on top of each other. Rest your head on your hands. Take a few nice 
Expensive breaths. No judging the sensation you feel, just noticing it. Okay. Next, we're going to press back up onto the forearms just for a moment, just a little bit like this. We're going to work on the shoulders next, okay? So from here, you're going to take your right arm out to the side. Oops, yeah, it looks like a lot of you are facing the other way. Sorry if I, I put you in that position. <laughs> oh, good. But anyways, you'll take your right arm up to the side like this, okay? Try and keep your right hand in line with your right shoulder. You can just hang out like this. It can be enough for you if you have really tight shoulders. Otherwise, you can start rolling slowly onto your right side. Maybe you can rest your left foot in front of your right, or you can even bring it behind. If you cannot get your head down, find a pillow or something to rest it on, okay? Remember, do not go too much. We'll hang out here just for two minutes. Make sure that all around your shoulders are nice and supported. And sides of the neck, front and back are nice and long. And just play your edges. Start slow. And if you start to open, you can explore a little bit more. Otherwise, you hang up. So keeping your eyes on your nose. So let your eyes stay focused on one point. Noticing the cool air move into your nostrils. And the warm air moving out. A few more breaths. If your shoulder gets numb and tingly, please come out, okay? Okay, take another full breath in. You press out and you're ready. Slowly, slowly, roll back onto your stomach. You can rest your arms wherever is comfortable. Same with your head. Breathe in and breathe out. When you're ready, we'll switch sides, okay? Lift your head up a bit, just so you can see where you're placing your left arm. Take it out to the side. Make sure it's not too high up in line with the top of your head or too low down in line with your hips. Right in line with your shoulders. And you can start like this. The arm straight on your stomach, or just slowly go onto your left side. Let's hang again for two minutes, okay? You can have your right hand right in front of your chest, right underneath your elbow, whatever is comfortable, really. And remember to still keep your ears, shoulders, and hips in a line as best as you can. We 
ease in doing this can really open up the breath too. We're working in the um, traditional Chinese medicine, the lung meridians. Remember, if your arm goes tingly, come out and rest, okay? Going back in again when you're ready. Or you just roll on your stomach. Almost there. 30 more seconds. Take another full breath all the way in. Deep breath all the way out. Slowly, slowly roll back onto your stomach. Then rest your head on your hands or your arms, wherever is comfortable. Taking a few more nice breaths here. Okay, last one. Lift your head, your chest, reach your right arm forwards and just roll right onto your back. I'll end with twisted roots, a nice twist. This one can be helpful for your hips, your back, even the shoulders. From here, you'll take your legs up in a 90 degree angle with the knees bent. You can cross your right thigh over your left, okay? As best as you can. Try and keep that 90 degree angle in your legs, your sacrum, your shoulder blades, your head, your arms grounding. Breathe in. Slowly, slowly bring your legs over to the left, nice and slow. If this is quite a bit, for you, you can yeah, not bring your legs down too far. You can rest them on something. You can look at your legs, that might help to make it easier. You can look at your left hand. To make it a bit harder, you can look towards the ceiling. Or you can look towards your right hand. Remember here too, that if your arms go tingly and um, just place your hands down by your sides, maybe on your side or on your belly. Just hang for a few more breaths. At the end of your exhale, let your body tone so you get stronger. Bring your legs back up to center. And cross your legs, hug them in and just shake it out a bit. Walk from side to side. Last one before we rest. Watch your left leg over your right. Reach your arms up to the sides. Take a deep breath in. Bring your legs over to the right. Remember, if you can't make it all the way down, that's okay. Just go slow.
Yeah, and see if you can have your hips in a neutral position. You know, the hips aren't tilting back or forwards too much. Just find somewhere in the middle that's neutral. Just let your breath move freely here. Almost done. Few more breaths. On your next inhale, slowly come back up. Uncross your legs, place your feet mat with. Breath in, breath out. Give your legs a windshield wipe one last time. As you're ready, set up for Shavasana. Legs out long. Um, space up beside you. Leave some space for the pits of your body to breathe. Well, let's get nice and comfortable here. If you need some warmer clothes or to take off your glasses, you're always welcome to. We'll just rest for about three to four minutes here for today so that you can still sleep later. <laughs> Just resting as best as you can. If you need more rest, stay for as long as you like. If you have to get going, keep in your breath. Bring your awareness back to your body. Wiggle your fingers and your toes with tiny movements. Reach your arms up and back. Legs down and forward, just stretching like you're getting out of bed in the morning. Good. 
and bend your knees. Roll to your right side. And then come up to sit slowly. Awesome. Let's bring the palms together to end practice. Thank you all so much for your practice. I hope you have a really nice evening. And I hope that your shoulders and hips feel a little bit more open. Thank you so much. Namaste. Thanks, everyone. Nice to see you all. Hi, Clarissa. Hi, Sarah. Thanks, Jessica. Hope that went okay for you.